Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Akash New Generation or Akash NG is the successor of Akash Seas of Missiles being developed by DIDO for Indian Air Force. Akash NG will have an improved reaction time and higher level of protection against these saturation attacks. The second stage of this missile will use dual pulse solid rocket motor instead of ramjet engine used in Akash and Akash 1S missiles. The new solid rocket motor is lighter than the ramjet engine. The Akash NG weapon system will be capable of engaging multiple targets up to 10 targets simultaneously with 360 degree coverage in azimuth. The single trailer of Akas NG carries the entire launcher system including its captive power supply system housed on an underframe. The trailer mounted system hauled by 6x4 prime mover for launching Akas NG missile. The missile launch system houses up to 6 canisterized missiles, platform leveling system, elevation and azimuth system, launcher and missile electronics, communication and other necessary equipments. The Akas NG missile system configuration consists of six firing units. Each firing unit has a multifunctional radar, command and control unit, and four launch vehicles, each with six missiles. So, in summary, each firing unit will have 24 missiles, and the entire Akas NG system will have 144 missiles in ready to fire condition. The command and control unit is the key. To the launcher operations and functions including missile launch. It communicates and coordinates with all multi-launch vehicle in a firing unit. The command and control unit from different firing units in a cast engine system are centrally connected to hub via SATCOM. The command and control unit communicates with multi-launch system through a wired or wireless communication system at a distance of up to 2 km away from the launch system. The missile has slant range of up to 30 km and flight altitude between 30 m to 14 km. The Akas NG missile system is designed for very quick reaction time. The deployment of Akas NG missile system takes less than 20 minutes between transportation mode and ready to fire condition and vice versa. It has platform leveling time of less than 180 seconds. The missile has reaction time of just 10 seconds from target acquisition by command and control unit to single missile launch. It can fire up to three missiles within 20 seconds. The two canisterized missile stacks can be reloaded within 10 minutes. The maiden test of Akas NG was conducted on 25th January 2021. Till now, four tests of the missile has been conducted with the recent one being on 26th April 2022. On 2nd August, BDL joined the elite club of companies across the globe to have capability for production of radio frequency seekers by handing over its first RF seeker to DRDO chief Dr. Samir V. Kamath. As per BDL, the order for Akas NG is expected in the financial year 2026-27. On 12th January 2024, TRDU has conducted a successful trial of Akas NG missile from ITR Chandipur. The flight test was conducted against a high-speed unmanned aerial target at very low altitude. During the flight test, the target was successfully intercepted by the weapon system and destroyed. It has validated the functioning of complete weapon system consisting of missile with indigenously developed radio frequency seeker, launcher, multifunction radar, and command and control and communication system. The successful flight test has now paved the way for the user trials of the missile system. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.